I may have stumbled upon the fastest way to farm legendary items and other gear in Entrouded. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to do it and get everything set up so that way you guys can farm this spot to your heart's content. Not only are you going to be getting legendary items from this one, but you're also going to be getting some other items as well. Like this is a really good spot for torn cloth, shroud spores, shroud cores, amber, and also a shroud survival flask. But before we get into this guide, I do need to explain a couple of things about this one. First up, this is what I call a mid-game farm. So you're going to need to put a little bit of time into your character before you guys can do this one uh, as quickly as I can. And secondly, there's going to be a little bit of prep work required for this one, but it's not a lot and I will show you guys how to do all of this stuff. Okay, so let's first talk about the requirements. First up, I think you guys need to be level 15 plus to do this one. It's just, I say level 15, so that way you guys are strong enough to kill the mobs quick enough. And then you're gonna also need to have your flame at level three or four. I apologize because I don't know exactly which level you need to be to access this area, but I do think it is three or four. And then also you're gonna need to have your glider be at level two or three. And then this is the build that I'm using for doing this on my character. I'm basically just specced into wands and I've gone down the uh, the tree to just get as much intellect as I possibly can. A couple of things to note here is that because of the wand, I'm using a fire wand. So that means I was picking up arsonist and then also pyromaniac. And then obviously you do not want to forget about getting wand master and sting, which is down on the battle mage side. So the area that we're going to be actually farming is going to be to the east of the ancient spire in the Revelwood fast travel location. And it's marked on your map as an elixir well. But before we even get over there, what we need to do is actually set up a base close to this area. I found the best location is setting up a flame right here on this location on the cliff side. And the reason why we set up a base right here is because it's going to be really easy for us to just glide straight down to the elixir well from this area. So by now you guys might be kind of curious as to why we're all doing this. So now let's explain what the farm is. So the idea here is that we're going to start at this new base location, right? We're going to glide straight down to the elixir well. We're going to loot some items in this area kill the mobs on the outside around the flame up top. And then we're gonna go straight down and then glide directly down to the bright red tree. And that's gonna be where the two uh, mini bosses are. So then you'll just kill these two mini bosses, loot them and then log out and then log back into the game again and they are respawned. And the idea here is you're literally just going in there, killing them, looting them, leaving the game, going back into the game and then just rinse and repeat. And you can do this like an unlimited number of times. And this farm goes even faster if you're literally just here to get legendary items because you can just skip killing all the guys on the uh, surface level. I mainly just do that because there's a ton of cloth and spores to go after. So this is what my bags actually looked like after 20 minutes of doing this. Granted, I did delete a couple of items like gray weapons and things like that, but I just wanted to give you guys an idea of like how many legendary and epic items I'm getting, you know, per, you know, the 20 minutes I did this. So yeah, that is the farm. If you guys enjoyed this one, let me know by leaving a like and subscribing to the channel. I mainly make World of Warcraft content here, but I also do enjoy putting out videos on other games that I'm enjoying, especially this one because Enshrouded is just a really awesome game. I love it so much. And I'm definitely going to be putting out some more content for this game in the future. Uh, I think my next one is definitely going to be more focused on just like kind of like my thoughts or impressions of it. So now that we've explained the strat, now I'm just going to show you guys me doing this run two times to kind of give you an idea of, you know, this whole thing and what to look for.
All right, so that's gonna do it for this video, guys. Let me know in the comments section what you think about this guide and just this game in general, because me personally, I am freaking loving it. It's a lot of fun. And I'm probably gonna do more content like this in the future. If you enjoyed this video, let me know by leaving a like and consider subscribing to the channel if you guys are new here. I mainly make World of Warcraft content on this channel, but I also do make videos on other games that I'm playing, which I'm currently enjoying. Thanks for watching. I'm still solo, and I'll see you guys in the next one.